And today we unbox the brand new Micromax Canvas Turbo. Yes, the Hugh Jackman phone is here with us and we are going to unbox it for you. You can see that it is packed in a very similar package as the uh, Canvas 4. So a very Apple-esque package uh, with plastic uh, translucent plastic on the front just showing off the phone and uh, sides showing off the branding and back showing off the specs. So we are going to unbox it but before that let's just get a tour of the box here. On the right hand side you have a 360 panorama capture being promoted. Here you have a bunch of information and you also have the object eraser and cinemagraph uh, promoted. And at the bottom you have the camera Z, that's the camera app on the canvas turbo being promoted here. Transmogrify your shots. Snazzy name but I bet most of the people won't understand it. Transmogrify uh, means enhancing which makes the photos look fantastic. That's the actual meaning of that word. You can also see that they have promoted uh, this is um, 360 panorama capture you have cinemagraph which something Nokia does with uh, creating GIFs interesting GIFs and then you have the object eraser so all these are actually Scalado technology being licensed uh, by other manufacturers such as Micromax so let's get to the unboxing then this is the box um, so opening it up you have the phone itself. The phone also has a plastic layer on the top that promotes uh, various features of it. 5 inch full HD screen. You have a quad core processor here, 1.5 gigahertz MediaTek 65890 Turbo. You have Android Jelly Bean and a 13 megapixel camera on the back. So taking off the cover, you can see that this is a very similar build uh, to the uh, Micromax Canvas Doodle 2 which we like a lot. So aluminum build, full aluminum phone and the, on the front you have the glass. So we'll take a look at the phone later. So now you have black colored in-ear earphones. So these are tangle free, the cables, flat cables and uh, very much like what we had in the Micromax Canvas 4 but this time in black because of the black phone we had a Micromax Canvas 4 in white and then Again, you have flat cable micro USB. Uh, so this is really thoughtful of Micromax. Uh, we haven't seen flat uh, cables in other manufacturer phones. So good that they have adopted. This is also really high quality like we've seen with the Canvas 4. And then you have extra earbuds here and the travel charger. That's the USB travel charger. Nothing special there. And you also have a Micromax branded SIM ejector tool. So the SIM is uh, uh, inside a slot so that's uh, going to be ejected using this tool. We'll take a look at that later and you also have a bunch of booklets. So this is for mymicromax.com. This is SAR complaints uh, details. You have uh, the features booklet and then you have some more, you have uh, one more features booklet for the software and the complete user manual which will have all the other information and then you have the warranty card information. So that's about it for the box contents as you can see nothing else is left inside there. So again reiterating you have the phone, just focus here for a little bit, phone, bunch of booklets, warranty statement, user manuals. Uh, features booklets you have the in-ear earphones here the travel charger extra earbuds and the uh, Micromax branded its sim ejector tool so that's all you have in the box and yes you also have the uh, flat cable USB wire so that's all the box contents of the Micromax canvas turbo so let's take a look at the phone now so this is the phone right there, Micromax Canvas Turbo. Uh, we have the dark blue, this is probably indigo blue version here, not the white one. Uh, this feels really nice in the hand, it's gold uh, because it's made of metal, it's aluminium and it feels really nice in the hand, it, the nice curves here. Uh, unlike the Canvas 4 which had a plastic back and an aluminium rim but this time we have a plastic rim and an aluminium back with the plastic on the top 
for uh, the components uh, including antenna and everything so anyway let's take a quick hardware walkthrough of the phone here I'm going to remove the protective cover here and yes it looks really slick the display is really dark as you can see the bezels are almost indistinguishable so the phone has a 5 inch full HD IPS panel on the front which we are hoping to be better than the canvas for uh, you have a front facing camera on the top here and the couple of sensors and the earpiece let's take a closer look at them so there you go those are the uh, earpiece the couple of sensors and the front facing camera you also have the uh, capacitive shortcut buttons here faintly visible without the backlight home back uh, home back and contextual menu it's really hard to distinguish but we'll take a look at them when we power on the phone on the sides you're on the left hand side uh, you have two SIM card slots here, no micro SD card slot, but the phone comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage like the Canvas 4. It's probably uh, to thin down the phone to 8.66 millimeters. So two uh, micro SIM card slots. The battery is also non-removable, so you don't get to replace uh, the battery much like the Canvas Doodle 2. Two SIM card slots, dual SIM phone, both. Uh, we are guessing micro sim but we'll take a look at the slots later so over the back as I said earlier a nice aluminum finish feels great in the hand and uh, 13 megapixel camera on the top single LED flash and the microphone here just like the canvas 4 and you have the loudspeaker at the bottom so even at the bottom of the phone you have the, the 3.5 mm audio jack and the um, primary microphone for voice calls so there is a secondary microphone here for stereo recording in video so that's about it a quick hardware overview no part is uh, movable like the canvas doodle 2 it doesn't open up so pretty much sealed and uh, that's why we feel the phone is really solid as you can see it's a fingerprint magnet right away so let's power on the phone and see how it is So we forgot the right side here, the power button and the volume rocker uh, are in the same side. So that's the canvas turbo uh, boot music that you heard. So anyway, yeah, as I said, these are made of metal and both these uh, buttons are uh, on the right side. So this is the UI there. Let's zoom out a little bit. 5 inches full HD screen. The screen looks really good. The NQ Mobile security app that uh, if you wish you can activate. You can also see that the BBM link is live on the home screen. There was a report that BBM was going to be on pre-installed on Micromax devices and that's the evidence. So these are the uh, new apps here. Let's straight away get to the settings and see what the version of software is. So that's running on 4.2.1 just like the Micromax Canvas 4. No 4.3 update yet and uh, we'll be reporting when that happens. So that's, uh, so as I mentioned earlier, these are the capacitive shortcut buttons, contextual menu, home and back right below the display. For the first impressions, we think the display is really good. The 1080p screen is really dense and looks great in real. So as you can see, there's not a hint of lag here. Phones very fast. It's running on Micromax, uh, the MediaTek 6589 Turbo. Sorry about that. So phone is really fast. Unlike the other 6589T phones we have seen, they are a bit laggy in terms of UI, but Micromax seemed to have stuck with the old, good old, stock UI so that's helping out for them really nice uh, and fast so no com no complaints yet so that's about it for the quick hardware and software overview of the Micromax Canvas Turbo but before we leave just a quick comparison of the size between the Micromax Canvas 4 and the Micromax Canvas Turbo this is the Micromax Canvas 4 you can see how thicker apparently the phone is and that's probably due to the removable back here the sim card slots and the battery is removable meaning that they take up a bunch of uh, uh, dimensions 
So over at the back, you can see how similar they are curved, almost very similar. Only the Micromax logo is missing there. And a quick comparison with the Micromax Canvas HD. So three five inch phones from Micromax, all pretty similar in dimensions. We'll be taking an in-depth look into the comparison between the three, how Micromax has evolved with its Canvas series, Canvas HD, Canvas 4, and now the Canvas Turbo with very limited uh, cycles. For example, the phones have uh, had quick successions, to be honest, in nearly six to eight months, all the new phones have launched. So we'll be taking an in-depth look into the three phones here. So that's about it. That's it for the quick comparison between the Micromax Canvas Turbo, the Micromax Canvas HD, uh, HD and the Micromax Canvas 4. So that's about it for the unboxing and the overview. We'll be taking an in-depth look into the phone itself in terms of benchmarks and gaming reviews and more. So do stay tuned to the YouTube channel for more Canvas Turbo videos and thanks for watching. Do let us know what you think in the comment section below.